Garden. It's on the Backyard Garden Air here, and it's been about 60 days, almost on the nose, since my last update on my sweet potatoes that I'm trying to grow indoors. I'm going to show you what's going on with them, but I've had to trim them quite a bit because it seems like I got an indoor pest problem. I believe it must have been either spider mites is what it looked like. It could have been uh, something different, but they're a little tiny brownish uh, spider looking mite type things and I think that's what it was and to top it off I had a combination of those with some white flies and anyway and it really did a number on my on my sweet potatoes so I had to spray a lot of neem oil it stunted their growth they lost almost all their leaves they've just now started to come back uh, quite a bit um, so I guess they've now been in the ground since October 16th uh, we're coming up on three and a half months. Technically, you want four to five months for sweet potatoes outside where they get full warmth of the sun, nutrients from the sun and the soil. So I don't know what to expect, but I did take a peek. I want to show you where they're at, and uh, let's go take a look. Okay, so you can see the bin here of the sweet potatoes. You'll notice that there's not as much foliage as last time. There's a lot of dead leaves in here because as I trimmed them off, I left them. Here's some leaves that are not as bad as the ones I had to pull off, but they're definitely not that healthy. There's no leaves on these vines. Uh, again, the leaves just aren't that good. Here's another good example. So as you can see, they're not looking that great. However, um, back here, I pulled back a little bit of the soil and down in here, you can clearly see we've got the start of three sweet potatoes. This is just one of the corners that I started to pull from. Here's a closer look. They don't look the best, but again, they're small for right now. Uh, it's nice to see that they're developing sweet potatoes. Not quite sure if they're going to thicken up at all. They're going to get bigger, but uh, it's good to see that I have something started. Um, I'm going to leave them in the ground for another 45 days. I say the ground, the bin. You can see again, they're planted on October 16th and I was hoping for a Valentine's Day harvest, but four or five months is, is pretty good. So we'll go another 45 days or so. You know, I'm a little excited. We're getting a little bit of action now. I feel good about it. Um, my allergies are killing me. So you're probably wondering why my eyes are so red, but uh, we'll deal with it. At the end of the day, I want to keep you guys updated. I'm going to keep letting these suckers stay in the ground as long as possible. Hopefully, we'll get some you know, decent-sized sweet potatoes. Uh, originally, I was going to harvest them right around Valentine's Day, but we're going to wait a little bit longer. I'm going to go the full five months, but uh, I'll keep you guys updated maybe in the next uh, month or so uh, or earlier if I see some developments. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the series, let me know. If you think there's something I can do differently, please uh, advise me, and have a good day.